Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com. So I've got a tip for you, uh, those of you on T-Mobile Galaxy S2. Um, like in my basement, I always drop to edge. If I'm in the mall, it will always drop to edge. That's why one thing I don't like about T-Mobile phones. Um, but if you ever have a T-Mobile Galaxy S2, um, you're in luck because you can change some of that. Um, if you go to settings, and uh, you don't have to be rooted to do this, you can do it on any phone. See, I'm on Edge. Um, I found out, um, I studied a little bit farther about how these things work. Um, basically, there's GSM mode and WCDMA mode. GSM mode is basically 2G Edge, what I'm getting right now. And right now, it's set at uh, GSM slash WCDMA. So it's on automatic mode. Um, so the phone will switch from Edge to uh, 3G or 4G HSPA plus. Um, depending on how good signal is, but the problem with this mode is that if the uh, even if you can get 4G, but the sig signal is kind of weak, it will go to edge straight to edge, and uh, that's kind of sucks, you know, when you're in the mall or something. Um, whereas the WCDMA mode is capable of 2G and 3G, um, 3G, but um, it will favor the 3G or 4G more. Sorry, 2G, 3G, 4G. Um, so what you can do is actually just put it on WCDMA and watch as my bar goes from Edge to uh, 4G. So do that and um, it will waste the battery a little bit more but this is a short way so you never get Edge or at least your phone will try its hardest to get 4G. See that? So even though I'm getting like barely a bar or almost none, it stays at 4G and I can actually get some data. It's not the most consistent way to do it, but at least I'm not dropping to edge, which is like useless. You know what I'm saying? So let me run a speed test. No, I'm, now I'm actually getting 4G in my basement and before I wasn't. So, which is really cool. Look at that. Oh, let me try that again. So this should work on most of the T-Mobile phones also. If you have the choice between uh, GSM and CDMA, um, and it's set on C GSM slash CDMA mode, um, you might want to pick WCDMA because um, that will actually get you to 4G more often. Um, it might waste more, more, a little bit more battery, but it's not gonna really matter. It's supposed to use HSPA plus, um, like my AT&T Galaxy S2. Um, it's always on HSPA because I get pretty good signals here. So, ooh, sampling, test manager. Oh, I dropped everything now. So it's kind of a test. So you can play with it. I mean, it's not a sure method of getting um, 4G or 3G, um, but like 3G is non-existent where I live. Only 4G or Edge. So I, I've I've completely dropped out there. There it's coming back. Um, but at least I can get some kind of you know if you're like right on the border borderline where you're getting like one or two bars and still getting pretty good speeds. I was getting some good speeds earlier. Um, then this method could work, and you can always switch back um, to auto uh, if you know if you really need to be online and you you can just switch to edge, I guess which really sucks for me. I, I would just leave it here. <laughs> edge means like nothing. I'd rather not have Edge. So I, if I go back to Auto, it will it will go back to Edge. Or it, it can also stay on 4G here. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. It tends, my, in my testing, it tends to stay on 4G if you switch it from WCDMA back to Auto. Um, get a second here. What's going on? Do, 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 do. Hurry! Oh, you can also uh, put data roaming on um, for those of you unlimited like me. So you can roam on AT&T if signal's that bad. Um, uh, sometimes you might have to kind of play with it a little bit. Oh, there you go. So I'm getting getting 4G now. So if you switch from WCMA to back to auto, you'll get more 4G. Um, and then now it, now it can also drop to edge. Let's go back to that speed test. So I just gotta stay near the window or something if I don't use my phone, otherwise it's pretty useless. Let's see if we can get any kind of speed here. So it's sort of connected on zero bars. Um, I'm getting some kind of 
thing. So this can help um, because sometimes I think what happens is even if you get two bars, it'll drop to edge because it's not consistent. But at least you, now you know how to um, you know get 4G where um, you can't get 4G. You know. So anyway, that was this update. Um, if this helped you, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, email list at galaxyst2root.com. Um, I'm gonna put this back on WCDMA, where we update you once, uh, once or twice a week with tips and hacks, ROMs and whatnot. Uh, we don't share your email with anyone else; it's just for you and me. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, subscribe to me if you have. Thanks a lot, and thanks for supporting me. You guys rock. I'm gonna try to uh, churn out more videos. There you go. There you go, I get 4G where I was getting edge. I'm so excited. Even though it's zero bars, it's like 0 0.5 bars, I think. Um, that's better than nothing. So I'll just go near the window and I should have a couple more bars. See y'all later. And I've no also noticed once you're on edge, unless you get like really good 4G, it won't switch back to 4G. So this would be a great method. Um, you know, if you're, if you're just right on the borderline, it should give you um, 4G, you know, more, 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 more or less, you know. So, see y'all later.